In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to export an InDesign document using a, an export option known as Publish Online. So what I want to do is I want this document to have two uh, interactive functions. One will be I want the logo to have a hyperlink that goes that will send the user or the viewer to a video that I stored on my site. And I want this simple GIF animation to pretty much point to the actual link itself. And the, the arrow, if you will, basically it's a simple GIF animation frame by frame by frame. And I want that functionality to take place on the ad so that we don't have to put in anything like click here. The arrow would be um, basically a call to action. So you will see that and you'll know you need to do something. So let's go ahead, let's proceed. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna, I want to make this frame, I wanna apply a hyperlink to this frame right here. This is the link to the video. I'm gonna copy that. I'm going to come back over here and select the frame itself, go up to Windows, drop down to Interactive, slide over to Hyperlink, and then I'm gonna paste that link right in that field right there. And as you can see, once I did that, you'll see that there's this marquee around the logo that basically lets you know that this thing has some functionality to it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go up to File, drop down to where it says Publish Online, and when I get this dialog box, you can see it picks up the ad name, the title. You can put in a description if you want, but you can say Publish. And once I do that, what InDesign is going to do, it's actually going to put it online almost like it's a HTML document. So we can say view document. All right, and here it comes. There is the, the simple GIF animation right there. You can see the finger. I can tap on that, and it brings me to the video that I had uploaded. So that said, that's how you can actually publish online but it gets even better. So once I close this down, and then I'm gonna come back to, close this down, I'm gonna come back to the InDesign document. So at this point, we viewed it. So now we wanna copy that link. Make sure you copy that link, and you can close it down. Now what I can do is I can go to, let's say my, my email uh, server, put in a name, description, and then I can just paste that link right there so that whoever gets this link, all right, will be able to tap on it and then view the document and they would see, they would get that full experience of the animation and then of course the video. So that's how you can publish online using InDesign.